Kailan sila last nag-issue ng uh, no availability? Last week, ma'am, dalawa ko kasi. We have a packing center in Visayas. Sabi nila doon walang, walang stock. But the one in Metro Manila, they said they have a stock. So last week, we got two types of waivers from them. One is certification na merong stock in Luzon. And right. then non-availability in Visayas. Okay. Isabella, may stock talaga. Yes, ma'am. That's where we're getting now for NCR operations. Okay, fine. I just wanted to clear up uh, there were some questions about the four-piece program. Your submissions have some um, discrepancies. The data you provided for 2024, I think the USEC in charge of uh, the four-piece, um, you're currently at 4.277 uh, million households. From the start of the program, you indicated that you had 1.451 million households uh, had exited. Yung 1.451, sabi nyo, exited na yon, ano? So, total of 5.728 households. In the same data, sinabi nyo na 6.472 have been served. So, may discrepancy tayo. It's just arithmetic. Madam Chair, so, I'll uh, go through it. discrepancy ng 743,000? Madam Chair, if I may, and then yeah. you second uh, collaborate. Madam Chair, the target is always 4.4 million. Mm. But within months, merong nag-graduate, merong umaalis, may pinapasok ulit. So the current number of beneficiaries, tama ho kayo, is at 4.2. Yeah, that's, that's the current. Submitted, eh. That's the current in our database. Uh. Now, yung sinasabi ho nyo nag-exit, sila yung nag-exit from inception of the program till, till, uh, till current. Are till you saying now. from 2007 yan? The bank, 2007. Ang nipis yes. naman niya. Ma'am, 2007. Kaya nga, ang nipis nga. Ang konti naman. Ma'am, kasi di ba kailangan matapos yung mga anak nila from school and then they have a seven-year gestation period also. So, nag-e-ex... So, ang exit natin. Ang exit depende sa kung graduation. But that's 17 years. Siguro naman, under 18 years old lang ang cover. Madam Chair... Madam Chair, it's only been recent na nag exit ang DSWD uh, from the program. I'm sure you well know na noon there was no, a COA. No, may exit din. Uh, may exit Pero konti ho, that's why COA even cited. In, before I came in, there was a COA cited as uh, finding that said nga na hindi kami nag exit ng hindi enough. Na. So that's hindi why nag exit yan no, numero na yan. Years. Yan okay. numero na yan is small kasi hindi ho talaga nag exit noon. But right now, we are more aggressive in it using the Swedi. And in 2023, for instance, Madam Chair, so alone... In any case, what's the reason for the discrepancy of 743,000? I don't 743. There's a discrepancy, eh? Because you said that 6 million point four seven two have been served. So, bitin yon, because I may 5.728. There, it's not tallying. Unless they become eligible again. I'm just assuming that after COVID, they went right back to being eligible. Is that possible? Diba tumanda na yung mga anak, hindi na pwede yun? Madam Chair, let me explain in a um, less complicated manner. Medyo mahirap sabayan, pero please bear with me. Madam Chair, nung 2019, nagkaroon tayo ng listahanan. Inabutan ho siya ng covid so, nung pumasok ko si Sec. Tulfoy and ako, meron ho mga portion na in-exit massively. Almost 1.4 million yung in-exit. Na pag tingin namin, mahirap pa rin. I understand. I was there. I, I was so, already So, binalik natin sila. That. We did return uh, people who were inadvertently exited from the program. That's around uh, 700,000. Yeah. Roughly, ma'am, 700,000 yung binalik natin. So, are you saying that the discrepancy for the 743,000 is because they were restored? They were re-qualified? Yes, ma'am. We revisited them using the case management tool to determine kung mahirap pa talaga sila or hindi. Then, we re binalik namin yung mga karapat Talagang dapat Talagang mahirap pa naman kahit in-exit ninyo eh. Madam Chair, pero ito kasi dapat they should eh, kasi, not have been exited. Kasi diba wala naman long-term effect siya eh sa employment mm -hmm. at saka income of household. Actually, ma'am. Ang epekto lang niya sa vaccination at saka sa edukasyon. Ma'am, dun sa case management tool that we use, diba they graduate out also when we see that there's some type of economic uh, 
sustainability of sorts. Pero ma'am, yes, we did return them anyway, back to answer the... the discrepancy, can you just give me a coherent uh, explanation? Because it's not tallying, it's just arithmetic. Bakit ganun? Isa pa, why does the program count college graduation as, as your achievement? Uh, Hindi madam, naman kayo nagbibigay ng tulong sa kolehyo. Madam Chair, pero di ba kasi education, uh, ma, keeping kids in school. Pero school, tapos yes, ang baba pa ng score ng high school natin. <laughs> keeping them in school, so we'd like to think na nakaabot sila ng kolehyo because nag-primary and secondary education. Di ba dapat ched yun? Wag na ninyo i-claim yun, di naman kayo tumutulong dun eh. 2018. Uh, Ma'am, hanggang senior high. Hindi naman totoo eh. Yeah. Um, yes, Madam Chair, but uh, kasi we were trying to show breaking of the intergenerational poverty as a means of success ng program. I think that should be uh, noted as a mere observation and not claimed as an accomplishment of the program. Hindi naman totoo. Um, also, out of 1.451 that exited, only a total of 567,000 or 39% Exited due to better living conditions, meaning they graduated or voluntarily waived. So are we satisfied that the flagship anti-poverty program has a mere 39.1 success rate? Because effectively, that is the success rate that you're claiming. So you're actually saying 61% palpak, 39% okay. But I'm sorry, of the ones that graduated, are you saying that? Oh, kasi di ba? Uh, there's an admission in your presentation that out of the ones who exited, only 567,000 are actually out of poverty. So the rest are not. So ibig sabihin, 39.1% lang ang okay na, nakaahon na. Yung iba, nakalugmok pa rin sa kahirapan. Madam Chair, sadly because the law has certain things, diba? pag wala ka ng eligible children, kahit na mahirap ka pa, aalisin ka. Oh, understood, understood. So sadly, that, these are provisions of the law that we want to look into again. No, that's, precise, that's, why, that's precisely why you're here, because you, we are the legislature and we can fix the law. Precisely. Yes, Madam Chair. Kasi palpak to. Madam Chair. Kung magre-report ako na isang programa na labing pitong taon na, sinusugod, abay, uh, napakababa naman ito, 39.1%. Di ba dapat tigilan na yan? Madam Chair, uh, uh, two things. Two things, Madam Chair. Uh, one, you're correct that there are limitations to the law. In fact, we are pushing for amendments to include looking at that. I've never seen any Ma'am, we're about to submit you. now. Uh -oh. uh, two, Madam Chair, if you can recall, we uh, mentioned about commissioning a study on the four Ps and all the anti-poverty programs. But I think we don't need the study. These numbers are glaring us in the face. Yes, Madam Chair, the 883 uh, na umalis na may not have better life, uh, ano sila, wala nang anak ko na nag Understood, age. they're no longer qualified. Yes, yeah, so those are wala the... Wala minor kids. Those so. are the limitations that we want to look into. Baka maamendahan ho yung batas. So the other thing is... We've talked about exit programs. Um, of those who exited, eto nga, kasi hindi nga nagtatali, how many became recipients of SLP and uh, were um, uh, forwarded or endorsed to DepEd for uh, alternative learning Madam Chair, or to DOLE yeah. for some kind Madam of Chair, test we'll, the training? We'll Wala kong follow-up to. Ma meron. We will submit kasi, to... Ang problema, kung 39.1%, kung kumpanya, kayo negosyante, di ba? Kapag kumpanya 39% after 17 years, di ba pinapatay na yung programang yun? Obvious ba na hindi pwede yun? So, are there other metrics that can show some level of success? Because right now, I'm not deriving any. Madam Chair, for instance, in the... Uh Ma'am, the there's only one impact assessment that we use, the one that PEDS normally gives us. In the last impact assessment, they were looking at two variables. Education, which they said nga, there's still a lot to be desired kasi yung mga bata pinagtatrabaho pagdating sa senior high school pa rin kesa staying in senior high school. Pero in the health side of it, they were saying that, like you said, there's so much improvement already in terms of the health side ng mga poor, poor uh, families ho natin. Uh, not perfect, but they said that there are signs that they're already developing the health-seeking behaviors that we want. But kulang pa, that's what they said in the last PEDS assessment in 2019. aware of that, but uh, can, you other, can you provide some other measure of success for the four-piece program? Kasi sa ngayon, wala eh. 
But I'm saying that's why we commissioned... In the absolute measure of... Uh, providing a new pathway out of poverty through 4P. Madam Chair, that's why there we commissioned... There simply isn't any success Madam, to claim. Madam Chair, as mentioned in the past two meeting, that's why we commissioned those two studies. Because nobody has ever no, looked at... No, but in at the meantime, even without the studies, ilan dito na nag-exit ang nag-avail ng iba pang programa yes, ma'am, we, we have SLP, that. Kalahi sheets, kung ano man. <laughs> Madam Chair, we will send you a uh, the committee a submission yung mga na endorse at na nag-aral sa kolegio. Sa sa yes. Ed, sa SUC, kung sa we have that, Madam lang. Chair. Anyway, kasi wala akong mahanap na success rate, uh, measure dito eh. The other thing is that uh, you are claiming the social welfare and development indicator as the tool used for the graduation process from the four piece. Do you assess all the 4.4 targets? Yes, housing? Madam Chair. The links natin... Where did you derive the number 4.4? Madam, that's the database, but that's the universal that we should keep, 4.4. I don't understand. What do you mean it's the universal? In there the, are uh, certainly more poor people than uh, those. Definitely, Madam Chair, and there's more. And the number more. of the poor who, in fact, have children under the age of majority <laughs> will certainly be more as the years pass. How come we are stuck to 4.4 Madam Chair, forever? That, because one... Nandun yun sa Philippine Development Plan na target. Pero, I understand. And but, two pero, na sa GAA. But it's, it's, uh, how can you, how can you say 4.4 forever when in fact population but, is growing? Madam Chair, we really want more. No, but I understand. Even in the but GAA, I'm just it's, saying, you have to agree with me that uh, pegging it to an absolute number oh, forever is absurd. Definitely, Madam Chair. So there we go. So, uh, what in, would the real number be? Uh, six units. About six million. Six million. No, the ones who are really qualified. I don't think it's six million. You're all guessing. I don't believe so. Madam Chair, in, Madam Chair, because that's the sad part. Our list only is 2019. Understood, it's an old list of Hanan. Understood, and you won't have any more. But that, isn't, gonna, isn't uh, PSA going to... Yes, Madam Chair. So we're looking forward to getting the CBMS because we can get the data. Yeah, um, no, because... Okay, 4.4 is what's stated, but you all know it's absurd. Why don't we question this? Madam Chair, we will and we have. And uh, where will we get the data? What is the real number of qualified households? Alam but, naman natin, dito toto eh. Madam Chair, that's why we're... Alam we, naman, 17 years, hindi lumaki yung populasyon. Labis-labis ang linaki, tapos ito pa rin. Madam Chair, that's why we're waiting for the new CBMS to come in. Kasi lumang-luma na ho yung listahan na natin. It is a 30% inclusion-exclusion uh, error. Huh? So you have an assessment 5. process. 5. You have an inkling of how many households 5. are due to exit Madam, this year. Um, exit, ma'am, Madam yeah. Chair. Due to natural attrition. Uh, 500,000.